So the first question in which I'll be asking it is how do I access ChatGPT on my phone? The reason why I'm asking this question is because I have blog posts in which I talk about how to access ChatGPT on your phone. So let's go ahead to see if it is able to pull out that information. Okay, so you can access ChatGPT on your iPhone by setting up as GPT, which is a powerful shortcut that allows you to integrate ChatGPT and all of its features on your iPhone. To set up as GPT, you need to download the main SGPT shortcut and the encoder, enter your OpenAI key and add a shortcut to your home screen for easy access. Wow, that's amazing. I'm really mind blown by how easy it was to set this up and how um, intuitive it is at giving us our answers. So let's go ahead and continue this and ask it some more questions about the things that I have on my website. Have you ever wanted to create your own ChatGPT like application but thought it would be too expensive, too time consuming or too technical? Well, let me introduce you to a tool called ChatBase, and this essentially solves all of those issues. It allows you to train your own ChatGPT-like chat box with your own data and your own information. So essentially, you can ask it various questions from the data in which you input it or trained it on, and it will be able to give you answers. So there's a bunch of different use cases in which you can use this for. If you're a company, you can feed all of your company's documentation or training uh, manual or instructions into this chat box and use that uh, for training or as a resource for your employees to use or if you like to create a customer support chat box in which again you feed all of the information and most frequently asked questions when it comes to customer inquiries you can have a chat box that's available live to your users so that they can interact with that chat box on your website or let's say you're an online blog and instead of having users scroll through all of your blog pages to find content you can have a chat box that's trained on all of your content so users can easily ask questions and get answers on your website so those are just a couple of examples but the possibilities really are endless in terms of the use case and the types of chat box in which you're able to create using this tool so let's go ahead and check out ChatBase, see how it works and see how you can build your own chat gpt like application in order to get started head over to chatbase.co and this is where you'll be able to start building your own custom chat gpt chat box now the reason why i liked this tool in comparison to some of the others is because they currently have a lifetime deal so essentially you pay one time and you'll have a lifetime access to your chat boxes for any of your specific use cases so right now the Lifetime deal starts at $29 and that is a one-time payment and you're able to get 1,000 message credits per month, 10 chat boxes and 2 million characters per chat box. So essentially you can create 10 different chat boxes for 10 different use cases but the limit is that you only have 1,000 messages um, per month. So each message or response that you get back from the chat box is counted as one message but if you want to upgrade you can get the license tier 2 plan for $159 and this gives you 5,000 message credits per month, 40 chat boxes and you can also connect your open API key so essentially if you don't want to have a limit you would get this plan and after 5,000 message credits you will then use your own API key and then you have to pay directly to open AI so those are the lifetime plans if you want to check it out I'll leave a link in the description below this video so now let's get started with building our own chat box and it's very very easy to do so so once you hit build your own chat box and you've already created an account this is where you'll get started with creating your own chat box essentially all you're doing is fine-tuning the model so that it will have or be trained on your own unique information so then you can ask it questions based upon that information now if you were to do this manually it is a little bit more technical but this tool does a really good job at creating a very easy to use interface which allows you to fine tool models without having to be very technical or um, be very time consuming. So there's a couple of ways in which you can upload your data. First, you can upload your data through files. So you can go ahead and choose your files um, for your company documentation or whatever chat box you're trying to create and then you can create the chat box through there next you can actually go ahead and just paste the data right within this section and then you can create the chat box and give it a name. The next way in which you can input your data is through your website. So you can enter your website and then ChatBase will go ahead and crawl that website, take all of that documentation and that information, fine tune your model and then create a chat box based upon that website. And the last method is by manually adding in some Q&A questions. Um, so if you have a very question to answer chat box use case, then you can go ahead and manually enter those questions, but it would probably take quite some time. So as you can see, they make it very, very easy for you to fine tune or update um, the chat box with your own custom information. In this example, I'll be using the website um, because I want to create a chat box for my website so that users can just ask questions on that chat box instead of having to go through pages or posts to get the answers in which they're looking for. So the first thing that we need to do is enter the URL. 
or you also have the ability to submit your sitemap so you can get your sitemap url and you can enter that in there and you can load up that sitemap and as you can see here it will be able to pull all of the links um, from your sitemap which again allows you to easily um, crawl your website and then have that information fine-tuned into a chat box. So, so that's all um, been included. So we have 32 links. Let's go ahead and create our chat box. So as you can see here, um, it has already been able to take that information, which is pretty quickly. It was able to gather that information from my website. And now we already have a chat box in which we can start using. So it is still training your chat box on the provided link. So this will take a few minutes. So let me go ahead and let it really train on that information um, because we literally just submitted it. And then I'll come back within five minutes and start using this chat box to see how good it is. Okay, so it's literally been less than one minute and it says our chat box is trained and ready to use. So it's very, very quick at reading and scraping information from websites. And as you can see here, look, we have an AI chat box that we can use that's already trained on our website. That's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and test it out to see how good it really is. So the first question in which I'll be asking it is how do I access ChatGPT on my phone? The reason why I'm asking this question is because I have blog posts in which I talk about how to access ChatGPT on your phone. So let's go ahead to see if it is able to pull that information okay so you can access chat gpt on your iphone by setting up as gpt which is a powerful shortcut that allows you to integrate chat gpt and all of its features on your iphone to set up as gpt you need to download the main as gpt shortcut and the encoder enter your opening i key and add a shortcut to your home screen for easy access Wow, that's amazing. I'm really mind blown by how easy it was to set this up and how um, intuitive it is at giving us our answers. So let's go ahead and continue this and ask it some more questions about the things that I have on my website. Okay, so the next question in which I asked it was, how do I write SEO optimized content using ChatGPT? And here's the response which we get back to write SEO optimized content using ChatGPT. You can follow these steps, research your topic, use ChatGPT to generate your draft of your content, incorporating the keywords, edit and refine your content to ensure it's engaging, informative and well-structured. Use formatting tools like, use formatting tools like headings, lists and tables, add external links, use a tool like New and Writer to test the SEO optimization score of your content and make additional optimizations as needed. Okay, so this is actually really good again and I know it's taking information from my website because if it was just general information, it would not include New and Writer and I include New and Writer in a lot of my optimization um, tips when talking about writing with ChatGPT. So let me actually go ahead and look at my website to see if there's any like real nuanced content that I can ask it to really figure out if it's able to give us answers based upon my own content. But again, I'm really, really impressed by this answer. Um, this is really, really high quality stuff here. And again, it was just so easy for us to train our own chat box. Like I'm still not getting over the fact that we already trained a chat box on our website in less than five minutes. The next question that I asked it was, is Jasper AI's new prices worth it? And it says, according to the blog post in WordRocket, Jasper AI's recently made a significant change to their pricing plans, moving away from the paper use model. The new $39.99 unlimited plan allows users to generate content without worrying about word count limitations. However, whether or not the new prices are worth it depends on your specific content creation needs and budget. It is recommended that you compare Jasper AI's output quality with other AI tools such as ChatGPT to make an informed decision. So while it doesn't give us an answer, it is able to pull that information from our blog post. So it does tell me that it's been trained on that information and it's able to use that information to give us nuanced answers and answers that are specific to the type of content in which we're creating. Because if I'm interested within this niche and I have questions like this, instead of me having to go through all of those blog posts and be able to read everything, I can just use this um, specific um, chat box and get the answers much quicker in a much more easy and conversational method. So again, I'm very, very impressed by um, how easy it was to train this bot and also how um, high quality the outputs are. Next up, I've asked it, what can I use Harper AI for? And it's telling us that we can use Harper AI for a wide range of purposes. Uh, to include AI answers to search queries, summaries of web pages, data extraction and tracking, price monitoring, and so on. And if we actually scroll down, again, we'll be able to see the sources in which it's pulled that information from, um, which is from our blog post. So again, 
Um, very, very cool stuff here. So if you guys are looking to create your own chat box, highly recommend checking out Chatbase. As you guys saw in today's video, it was super easy to set up and get started. And it's also very, very affordable. You can get a lifetime deal for $29 one-time payment, and you'll be able to get 1,000 messages per month. And if you wanted to upgrade to the license tier two, it's $160. And again, if you have your open AI key, essentially after 5,000 messages, uh, you just pay OpenAI, which is pretty inexpensive. So grab it before it expires because I have a feeling this is not going to have a lifetime deal for too long because it's just too good of a tool. So again, if you guys would like to create your own chat GPT like chat box, you can definitely check this tool out. I'll leave a link in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.